Business, and over the last number of weeks, we've been dispelling some of them with Dr. Tom Cooney, who's a lecturer in entrepreneurship and marketing at DIT. Tom also puts his uh, academic theory into practice with his involvement as director of Optimal Results Limited. Now, this week we're discussing the risks involved in setting up a business and the myth that entrepreneurs are gamblers. Good morning, Tom. You're very welcome. Good morning, Mark. Um, entrepreneurs are gamblers. That's unfair because gambler or gambling is a pejorative word, isn't it? It, yeah. uh, it, it implies a kind of a recklessness. Well, one of the things that I want to get across is the idea that when we talk about entrepreneurship, the perception is, you know, do you know the, the kind of the idea that we've had previously that if they were successful, they were a gangster, and if they failed, then they were a chancer, mm -hmm. and we give people no credit whatsoever. Now, entrepreneurs are not gamblers; they're calculated risk takers. Like I, I'm not sure, did you have a bet in the Grand National last Saturday? No. Two, two euro <laughs> in this week. Yeah. But what do we do? We, we we pick a horse out, out of the hat and we kind of put a couple of euro on. That's a gamble because we, we don't have any information. We don't know much about the horses that's fairly running. But there's some people who will be following the horses over the year, you know, will be p picking a particular horse, following it, tracking it, and then going on a particular bet on a particular race and putting maybe 50,000 euro or something. To me, that's more towards calculated risk taking rather than a gamble. And what I'm saying is that entrepreneurs are calculated risk takers. They put together a business plan, they develop it, they gather information and they take a calculator. Well, they spot a niche, a gap in the market, first of all, that they think nobody else has, and, um, has seen, and then they try and exploit it and follow on from it. Is that, mm. is that actually, what is the, the, the core or the gift of a true entrepreneur? Is it spotting the gap, uh, um, or is it being able to put the whole thing together and exploit it? I, I think there's a bundle of characteristics. There's the one where, as you, as you say, where they spot a gap in, in the marketplace. But then they have to gather the resources, and they have to build a team around them. So there's a number of characteristics. For example, they have to have a drive and an ambition and a willingness to make things happen. But what I would be concerned about is that when we talk about entrepreneurship and entrepreneurs, that the perception is that they're you know, special people, whereas in fact they have they're an not. an X factor. Yeah. Now, there's some people that have, like, you know, people like Dennis O'Brien. Who I so worked forth. for, yeah. Yeah. Like, like they're, they're special people and they're different people. Are they not fearless, Tom? Well, some of them are, some of them are, but not all of them are. Like, one of the things that we're talking about here is that in one way or another, you're going to have to take risk, but you can take calculated risk as opposed to being reckless. Mm -hmm. And uh, no, a lot of the people, like I spent last night working on a start your own business program for a county enterprise board, working with 15 people about to start up their own business. And a number of them were made redundant. They, were, they found themselves in this position. They are worried. They have kind of, you know, genuine concerns, uh, but they're going to do it and they're going to make it happen. And that's actually the majority of entrepreneurs. Is there any way you can stack the odds in your favor? Knowledge inside knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I think there's tribunals about that, isn't there? <laughs> um, gathering information is the, way, is the way of dealing with that. Uh, that's why writing a business plan is so important because in writing a business plan, you're gathering information and you're putting it together and you're also discovering what it is that you're missing. And you can't put everything on the line, Tom. For example, if, if you're married, you have children, you have a big mortgage, you can't put every last penny you have into something because if it goes all, all wrong, what are you going to do then? My suggestion would be you, you put into what you can afford to lose. Um, this is why the support of one's partner is so critical in starting your own business mm -hmm. because you've got to you know, talk it through with them. You've got to talk through what you are putting on the line and how it's affecting you know, the, your partner and, and, and family. Tom, is that, is that actually what marks the true entrepreneur out from, say, the normal businessman in that not necessarily that they'll, play, they'll put everything, they'll bet their house on it, so to speak, but they have such a belief in what they're doing that they know that this calculated risk is worth putting their house on. Very much. Very, you're, like, you're quite correct because that's the, that's the calculated risk taker. The person who's putting, like, throwing it all into the pot and to see what happens, and that's the gambler. And they're the ones that I'm, I'm saying, no, that's not what we should be talking about and that's not what I'm promoting. You can still lose though, can't you, Tom? I'm thinking about Aircom shares and SSIAs and lots of people. We had all the information at the time. Lots of people, uh, they were considered a good bet. They lost a lot of money. A lot of people went into these equity-linked SSIAs. We were all told, well, they haven't lost money for the last five to ten years and we're all losing massive <laughs> amounts of money at the moment. Yeah. So... 38% of businesses fail within the first three years. 50% fail within, within five years. So there's no guarantees. 
Uh, however, I would argue, and I, I run this, I'm starting to run a business program, a session called Success is a Choice, and about setting objectives and goals. And, and the goals, I would argue, are, are your own goals. It's not necessarily about making money. It can be a lifestyle choice. But by identifying the goals and going after them, then you can actually make, really make it happen. People who write, research has shown us, people who write their goals are more likely to make it happen than those who don't write them down. Oh, Tom Quinney, Dr. Tom Quinney, thank you very much for that. We'll, we'll be continuing this series. And uh, um, by the way, if you're a buddy entrepreneur out there, buy yourself a copy of The Art of War by Sun Tzu. You'll find this handy. Let's go outside now and find